Good morning. I'm John Perkins with your opening market minute. Soybeans and corn are both seeing at least a little bit of support today from expectations for more near-term harvest delays in parts of the Midwest and Plains. Still, they do expect producers to have made pretty good progress over the last several days with generally warm, dry conditions, again ahead of a slightly wetter, cooler pattern in parts of the Midwest and Plains. As for wheat, the fundamentals remain overwhelmingly bearish, especially on the global supply side of things. But there is commercial interest around these price levels, especially in Chicago and Kansas City. USDA's next set of supply, demand, and production numbers are out on November 9th. Live and feeder cattle are mixed ahead of widespread direct cash cattle business this week. That may end up waiting until after this afternoon's USDA cattle on feeder port. That's due out at 3 Eastern, 2 Central. And hogs are seeing a little bit of support from yesterday's higher move in the pork carcass cutout value and today's steady to higher cash business. But there is a lot of pork on the market as reflected in yesterday's USDA's livestock slaughter report and it should be reflected in next Monday's cold storage numbers. I'm John Perkins with your opening market minute.